Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk animated shows and movies here, especially Miraculous Ladybug and The Owl House. Find everything about us at OverlyAnimated.com. I'm your host, Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Delaney Stovall. Hey, y'all. And April Collins. Hi there. We back. Ladybug. Ladybug's Ooh. back. Ooh. Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> Is that a ghost? <laughs> Yeah, where were we getting haunted by uh, the ghost of Luca because he didn't appear in the episodes? No, okay, no. that was that's the last time I'll mention him. No. Uh, so wow. <laughs> Ladybug season five has began airing uh, in the United States, and we are starting our season five podcast. We are going by the Disney US English dub releases uh, once again this season. So we'll have spoilers only up to the episodes we are covering in this podcast. And those episodes are Evolution, Multiplication, and Destruction, the first three episodes of season five in order of Miraculous Ladybug. We have long covered Ladybug, and you can check out all our previous podcasts at OverlyAnimated.com. Search for Overly Animated Ladybug on wherever you listen to podcasts, and you should find us. You can check out all of our Previous Ladybug nonsense um, should be a good time this season, the uh, potentially culminating season of Miraculous Ladybug. Let me say up top, please, absolutely no spoilers past where the Disney US dub is, anywhere in the comments or where you would interact with the podcast. Please, 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 uh, everyone listening, we are not spoiled. Uh, we have only seen these three episodes. We do not know what will happen next. I understand there's a million spoilers for the season. We will not be discussing them, okay? So thank I'm literally you. Literally not on Twitter anymore because of spoilers. It's, it's <laughs> genuinely hard to go on any social media where you might search for something for Ladybug. It's, it's pretty frustrating. Um, so I appreciate your, uh, concern, uh, everyone for, I don't know if that's the right word, for please not spoiling us. And not commenting anywhere spoilers. And if you are also concerned about spoilers, we will not mention anything past Destruction, the third episode of Ladybug Season 5. Hopefully we'll be in order and we don't have to start to wonder about that later. But yes, we have these th- the first three episodes of Era Destruction just aired as of when we're recording this yesterday. Very excited to get into Ladybug Season 5 so we can just start with the ge- general reactions and very high-level thoughts. Delaney. Well, geez, I mean, everything happened in these three episodes. It was a lot. Um, Like, we went, like, zero to 60, like, really fast. To be fair, like, where we left off last season was, like, was a big deal. Um, I really liked these episodes. I'm glad Ladybug's back. Um, The show is getting, like, I I know we say the show's ridiculous. The show is getting more ridiculous somehow. Mm, That's a bold claim. It it is, and I, I have some complaints. Oh. They're all, all have about, complaints. they're all about Hawk Moth. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Same. What? But yeah. Okay. But you but you enjoyed it. Was it was it too much as you binged them? Oh no, it wasn't too much. I mean, it was good. I didn't have to like. I only paused at like one point and was like screaming a little bit. One only it. one pause. Yeah. Well, right? When was the pause? Let us know. Okay. Okay. When we get when we talk about it, you'll jump in and say pause. Yeah. But no, I will. Like, I really like this. Um, I will say we have now. I now have a moment in Ladybug that is akin to the pa- the losing the past lives in Korra. So I'll <laughs> yell about that. Um. Yeah. I was gonna bring that up. I can't believe you brought that up first. I, I know. I, I no. I <laughs> are you that? I was right? like, <laughs> how do I? How I want. I, I, I we'll see if you cared as much when we get to it. But yeah, I mean, it's obviously the miraculous. But uh, yes, April. So why is he like this? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> April, you have a lot to answer for for your uh, hockey. Yeah, here. you do. You're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> look accountable for his actions. First off, um, I don't know who this hawk moth is because this is Monarch. Who yeah, he's is not hawk in- moth anymore, nor is he shadow moth. And he's insane. Like, did you see his outfit? Yeah, but, we'll talk about uh, <laughs> what were your reaction uh, to the episodes, though, April? Um, the first episode was a little overwhelming because I feel like I never follow these like time episodes very well. I mean, they're and hard I, to follow, and they were also like jumping through like a thousand portals. So. Yes, and like they were also like jumping in portals of their own timeline, which I was like, okay, I don't, I don't even know. Um, the second episode, I definitely had a like a. A fit during. <laughs> fit. <laughs> That's the desired reaction when watching Ladybug. Yes, is a fit. And then um, the third episode, like, I, 
I get it. I like the sassy Kwamis, but like the second half of the episode, I did not care for. So interesting. Interesting. Um, those are my eye level thoughts. We will obviously get deeper into these as we <laughs> continue on this journey. <laughs> what's what's deeper than eye level? Like naval level? Like uh, wow. Yeah, do you go I down? don't know. I'm confused. You said eye level, and I was like, I, I thought don't get that. Said eye level. High, high level. Eye level. High I thought level. you said eye level. I might have like said eyeballs. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting choice of words, Dylan, but okay. I'll high, roll high, with high it. level. Okay. Um, high level. Like, you know, as high as the Eiffel Tower level. That that high. Yeah, oh, that's also that's, got destroyed. Not really. that high one like, once it's toppled down, you know. No, no, so no, I, we, we like barely saw the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Well, it got, the first what was it? was it the second episode? No, it was second, the second episode. One. It got it got clearly knocked over. It was a good moment, probably well, the also, best like, moment. Hang, they were hanging out on it. Yeah, yeah, that's they played true. cards on the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Well, that's why they I was saying like rummy. it was barely there. Like we saw it get distorted. I guess the, the second episode it. was a big Eiffel Tower episode. The other two, not so much. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we. I, I'm glad to know that we were in Paris. So uh, we were also on the Eiffel Tower when we went back in time in the first episode. Yes. We oh, were yeah. in uh, in on the Eiffel Tower when we went back inside. Yeah, because they went back to Heroes Day. Okay, I mean, I I was uh, for what, what for whatever reason when you said when they went back in time, the only thing I thought of was when they went back to like the forties. Like, okay, they, they went back me- a lot in time. That yeah, not yeah. Just... there were several different times. Yeah, they so... were <laughs> we, we, yeah, that, we went to many a yeah, time. I don't know why I only thought of episode. one. Right? The most ridiculous time travel episode. Okay, yeah, I, I enjoyed the first three episodes of. Ladybug. Um, a lot, a lot happened. I think ultimately, I, I like that we covered the three of them because they, they're kind of like all, uh, I guess two and three really are, um, uh, d- d- various the points in time. Forever. Yeah. We, we hit on the sleepover in both episodes. A lot, most of three takes place during the beginning of two. Uh, some fun time stuff. I, there's a lot of complexity here. Like Ladybug is honestly one of the most complex shows I watch on television uh kids or adult show right like uh is is it all good complexity i mean we can talk about that a lot it's somewhat convoluted what's going on but that's kind of like trademark ladybug marinette's whole plan in episode three um the bunnicks episode first i I think it was really good it was really fun it was a lot right away i i do agree and i think that like as a premiere it's interesting because i think episode two is feels like more of the season premiere yeah uh, yeah. Just because we follow up in that episode with on all the things that I was hoping for, you know, in episode one, it's just like, OK, we're immediately launching into the Bunnix follow up and we're waiting for this episode. So it's a cool one to do right away for sure. Also, but... She's just stranded in time. Yeah. Just yeah. what? She's Which is... just having a good time. <laughs> and uh, we announced to the class that she has heroically gone for several years. And Alex died. We applaud her. <laughs> I, I literally wrote R.I.P. Alex. <laughs> If someone is gone, it does not exist for like a period of five years. Are they dead? Like, are they legally dead? I think it's like three years, but yeah. They, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Is that? Wait. Okay. <laughs> it's like I a didn't missing, know It's like a, a missing person thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess she's not missing. We know where we know she's sending postcards. So. <laughs> <laughs> to her dad. <laughs> um, it was it was it was a lot, but it was it was very fun. Uh, I do think that episode's really good. Um, two, I actually really like episode two. Um, I think I would say it's my favorite of the three. Um, but the first half, for the most part, though, I mean, you like I like uh, catching up, dealing with with all the stuff from the end of the season. Second half, a little bit of a traditional fight. So I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, but uh, I love the first half of the episode, and there's so much to get into. Adrianette. Um, Felix, you know, so I, I think there's a ton there. There was a montage in, uh, in, in episode two. Um, big the constant Ikari goes in puns were great. Yeah. Yeah. What was the, uh, oh, Ikari doesn't. Yeah. That was a good Yeah. One. Yeah. So um, good. yeah. So I, I really like episode two, episode three. I like episode three. It's a very weird episode. Very, very weird. Uh, cause you got the, the execution first, then Marinette explains what happened. And then big Gabriel plans, which I'm very excited to talk about. I, I like the second half. I You're... like, I like what Gabriel's doing here. I, it's... Okay. I like the part with Gabriel in the second half, but I don't necessarily care. Like whenever she did the whole explanation, I was okay. The first time. But then whenever I watched it the second time, I was just like, I don't care. <laughs> like, it took place. It was a it was a big, long trick. Like, 
that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think it's fair. It's it's uh, not this isn't the traditional episode structure for a reason. We kind of start with the climax and then uh, explain afterwards. Uh, so I think it's fine for one episode. The ladybug likes to do interesting things. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot because it's like the dumbest plan that's ever been enacted ever. I mean, in terms of success, this is like a, a big well, win just, for, for Marinette as Guardian. Yes, it just worked so well. On It's very dumb that it worked that well. It's so good. I th- that, this was where I had to pause was when he's like, where does she live? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I also think there's a lot All of, of the smell of croissants. The croissants. Yeah. And like, then, oh God, like there's not more than house, one bakery. <laughs> and then he's still like, and he's still like, where's the guardian? I'm like, dude, dude. dude. Yeah. Uh, it was it was a lot, and it was like, what is happening? And then we explain it. There's a lot of subtlety to Marinette's plan as well. It's very smart, I think. So we'll, we'll talk about it. But like as per usual, it's like the Lucky Charm extended into like half an episode, right? Like it's like, yeah, okay, this is like smart, and but it's it, it, but it's moving too fast and is very convoluted. Um, but that's Ladybug, right? Like this is like one of the top trademarks of Ladybug, in my opinion, is uh just kind of like a uh, high fast complexity at a fast pace that uh borderlines on if not is very convoluted and i love that for for ladybug i i really enjoy I also it. love that cat noir like says that too he's just like this was really complicated yeah. just like you're lucky charm yeah no cat noir they, the show and the show is aware of it clearly they wrote those lines for cat noir yeah so i agree with that analysis cat good job uh bunny Proud cat yeah uh, so let's let let's talk let's talk hawk cocky first because um, there's a lot to get in. And to me, the main interesting thing coming off of episode three is like what is going on at the end of episode three. But let's get there. Let's with, look his off. with with what his arm rotting off? Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> it's like what's gonna happen with his arm. But I mean, with the the, the new miraculous, you I'm know. So mad about it. So mad. Okay, let's build up. Let's go through all of the new elements of Gabriel as monarch. First of all, we talked about mon. We knew his be- would be called monarch. Um, like, stop giving yourself new names. Like, it's annoying. I think as of these three episodes, my like it's favorite with each evolution. Of yeah, he's his. a new evolution. He's so my favorite, least favorite thing about Ladybug is that when someone it's is turns into a slightly different form, everyone instantly perfectly calls them by the new name. Like no questions asked. Like they yeah. they got it. They're on top. Everyone of calls it. them Monarch when when Ladybug but also, uh, Astro that's... Cat and Cosmo Bug, and they're just like that's their name now. Like it's so stupid. It's ridiculous. But it's also very respectful. Yeah, is everyone being respectful or like does the magic of the miraculous is make them know that like in their brain it's like this is what they are <laughs> is, uh, i'm gonna take it as them being respectful i, I guess, like that i guess ladybug is so famous that all for all forms of them and uh gabriel they're like we all know who they are always yeah uh, but there's a ton of that it's like well, well oh the best one is when uh cat when we see uh master foo in the past it's like uh rabbit noir like it's just okay he just calls him that like uh okay why are you introducing yourself as that just because you've uh another miraculous on like yeah the name doesn't have to change like, <laughs> you could just be cat noir he doesn't know you yet no he has to be rabbit noir <laughs> <laughs> that was it, it takes it the danger is it takes you out of a serious scene like it's so stupid okay anyway well they did it with what is it alex too whatever she was canine girl and then i don't remember what oh, the name was, was yeah. after the, <laughs> um the little hat is the cutest thing ever <laughs> it's worth all now. a okay, tiny so, little hat so her little hat, hat. thing Nice, yeah. Well, I, I don't have a lot of canine girl discussion on there, but I, but yeah. It, I it's, just it's wrote cool. LOL canine girl is such a on on or spot on name. <laughs> <laughs> we nailed the name. Okay. Uh Monarch, we see his new outfit. And then we see another new outfit. April. I, yeah. yeah, right. Like so also um hot take, the first outfit's like way better than the second. Okay, so let's outfit. scroll down. Oh, I, no! I have pictures in the outline for <laughs> oh, April, no. April, let's get your take. So first of all, he's uh, okay, uh, my analysis to simplify things. I think it's basically the same outfit. It's just uh sleeker in the second. His new one is sleeker than the first okay. one. Okay. I like his second outfit better than the first one because oh. And these are these are my exact notes that I wrote. I wrote this mosaic look is interesting, but I don't think I like it. It's just so busy. He literally works in fashion and should know how to stack jewelry better, as well as color coordinating. So by the mosaic, <laughs> you mean his like butterfly cut pattern yes. on his chest, like kind of like a stained glass butterfly type of thing going on. Yes, on yeah. that's what it looks like, and I don't like it. <laughs> so that's the main thing he loses when he goes to the new outfit. Yeah, and so, that's okay. 
And then the other thing is he's just not wearing any of the miraculouses. Like he has the thing on his head and the image we're like, yeah, but that's just because it's a miraculous, right? Like it's, uh, yeah. I need a nose yeah. ring at some point, but that's kind of the main effect of when he turns them into rings. He just has some jewelry on his fingers instead he's of so his random annoying. stuff everywhere. I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. And and it, uh, and I think the second outfit it, it's he's kind of like has a bald cap on. I think that's yeah. another thing. Also, yeah. like, this well, outfit is not that much different than his like original outfit, so it's super irritating. Well, I think that's why I like the second outfit because I like his original outfit. I don't like this mosaic, like the the messy nonsense. Both I both like are very mosaic. purple. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's his thing. I kind of like, like the mosaic, the mosaic too. but we do have to say you look ridiculous wearing all of the brown. So exactly like, like he knows better like yeah. properly stacked which is why jewelry. you're not supposed to which is why he passes out and i was like he's dead he just died he just keeps he almost doing. seemed like he died yeah i i i, I like the like uh story uh uh in on the outfits of like uh he he's using all the miraculouses kind of haphazardly so he has this also like, do we mul- really have to keep yelling like he he yells all of their names and then says unify like yeah, do apparently you have that? to unify yeah you say unify every time Lord. yeah but it's <laughs> just like you have to say them all when you're just adding one more it's it's yeah. like uh yeah you do which is dumb uh but it, it's he, it's the sleeker outfit after he like takes control of the situation and makes his own version of the miraculouses so well, now it's, I- he's like uh yeah. What, I was going to say, and I think that's why I like it is because like the first one is so chaotic because he literally doesn't know what to do with all of these Kwamis. He just has like a gazillion of them and he's like, okay, this is chaos. I'm here for chaos. I'm going to dress for chaos. <laughs> and then he's like, no way. I've got control of the situation again. Let me, <laughs> let me put on my better outfit. <laughs> he's dressed up now. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's He's got it together. This is his formal attire. Um, well, what, Delaney, what's your, where are you on Monarch? The name, the outfit, everything he's doing? I mean, Monarch, Monarch's whatever. Like, I feel like if he's going to go by Monarch, so he should be orange. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, valid. Yeah, I think it's I think it's like the regal connotation, I guess, because he has all of the, <sighs> the stuff. I, fine, I guess. That's what I... I don't know. I will say there. This is a, it's a lot to go through this many fashion, cha- this like many like uniform changes in like two episodes. Also, during the transformation sequence, I thought he was going to end up looking like Moon Knight, and I was like mildly terrified. <laughs> oh, I really enjoyed his new transformation <laughs> sequence because yeah. it made me. I don't know. It felt very like in line with how he sort of like generate. Or I say generated. Ugh. I don't know what he did to the Kwamis, but or to the Miraculouses, but made them all into dust or whatever. And then like his new transformation looks like he's like in a dusting of white. Yeah. So white like a stuff. cocoon. Oh, interesting. He has mm-hmm. he has emerged monarch. Yes. And yeah, he's I using a him. ton of miraculouses, unifying I hate a him bunch too. of stuff. Um Yeah, so uh, you hate him. Wait, well, back up. <laughs> what do you mean you hate him? I, I don't I think well okay I think Gabriel is extremely annoying so far. <laughs> he is really irritating like he's so annoying like well, what's his most annoying thing that he does is is it you know he could have Natalie gave him a way to fix everything and he didn't do it well yeah well and it's the fact that like he didn't listen to her first and he just like rudely hung up on her and then she's like he like goes to her and he's like help me feed these things because i don't know what to do and then she helps him out it gives him like a better idea and it's like yes just go do that and then he doesn't do it and he's like help me come up with another plan like no i do not blame natalie for putting her foot down and being like absolutely not like i already tried to help you you could have you could have fixed this and you chose not to so um go go Bye-bye. Like, I'm sure she's still, like, well, she's obviously still acting as his assistant, but, like, I'm sure she's, like, I'm I'm done with you and your nonsense. Oh, I no, don't blame even, her. Even, even April has abandoned. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think we're all on Team Natalie in terms of her reaction to him. Absolutely. 
It's please. like the show could have gone with like winding Gabriel down after last season. It was like it, it seemed like it could have been an ending, but nope. instead we're doing like one fi- final manic push for. Well, no, that's exactly it. It is extremely manic. Like, okay, granted, like Hawkmoth and Gabriel have been maybe not the most competent, but like at least like it seemed like he was kind of organized and like. He had, like, a very, like, set focus goal. But now it's like, okay, you you could have achieved your goal and you chose not to. So what are you doing now, my friend? And, like, I don't understand his, like, I guess new attitude. Like, is he just so focused on doing the monarch thing that he's like, okay, Adrian, sure, don't be a model. Like, <laughs> like and just letting Adrian, like, live his life. I don't, it just yeah. seems very unlike. Like, in comparison to, like, season one or even season two or even season four, I don't know who this Gabriel is. I think, and you know, he starts off uh, trying to figure out how to handle all the miraculous and stuff, but it seems like he potentially might have it down more than ever now. He's, like, singularly focused, I think, like, even more so than before. Um, And uh, he has this grand plan, which could be his biggest scope plan, most effective plan ever. We'll talk about it. Um, Well... Okay, so I have another thing that I didn't quite get. Yes. Because back in, what is it, episode two, Adrian goes to him and is like, hey, dad, I don't want to be a model anymore. And he's like, okay, cool. And then at the end of episode three, we re-see that exact scene again. Yep. So, why how because <laughs> i don't understand and i need someone to explain it to me so, like legitimately so we so re-seeing that scene was a marker of when we when this episode was happening episode three so most of episode three took place in during episode two so it's confusing but um we can go over that whole timeline too uh when we want but uh if we want to but i'll, I'll go over it in more depth when we get to that topic but uh yeah that that we re-see the scene so we're not like oh everything that we just saw actually took place before that point in episode two so it was kind of like a reveal uh at that point uh, so the whole uh monarch goes to marinette's room that was like at the beginning of episode two basically and we just hadn't seen it before it is very, oh it is very gosh. confusing. We'll go over that. Okay. But, uh, we have something even more, uh, just as confusing to break down first, which is what is happening. Oh, wait, a... no, that doesn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it, we'll go over it. I, it's, I, can, I hate I can time travel. It's <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, we get, we leave the time travel back after episode one, but, um, I think, I, uh, we'll go, we'll go over the whole timeline, but first, uh, what what is this big plan that Monarch has? Um, so let's go through what happened. So in episode two, they take care of Akari Gozen. She had the multiplication miraculous power. However, Tom- Tomoe did not seem to have the miraculous at the end of the episode. Um, uh, she was wearing a ring. Even I saw that. <laughs> right. So that was an alliance ring, which we uh, see at the end of the episode, I guess. Yeah. So she was but wearing was an it? alliance ring. Yeah. <laughs> Which that's why I have that picture down there, by the way. So at the bottom, she's wearing the ring, which she's uh, calls Gabriel with it in the car, um, I believe. So, uh, and if these questions are answered later, which people know, you know, obviously we don't know yet. Um, so I, I think I, ha- I think I have this right for when I'm going front in the episode, but it's a lot and it's confusing. So then uh, we also hear Gabriel conspiring with Tomoe in the car after uh, the prototype works perfectly. We can move on to the next step. So presumably, so what was happening with the car goes in was a prototype, but we don't know of what. Then next episode, we see Gabriel turning the miraculouses into new rings. Um, we uh-huh. see he he clearly melts them all down into dust. Then we see like him make an alliance ring from the bee miraculous. But then at the end, all of them are these full rings that are not alliance rings. At least they don't look like them. They look like uh, just like thick, kind of thicker rings, including the bee. All of them are there. They all kind of like miraculous. Cat Noir's ring, but they kind of look like Cat's ring. Yeah. Um. Also, the Kwamis are in cages. Uh, or and, babies. Yeah. So, Delaney. Uh, do you know, did you under, did you think you understood what was happening here? Uh, yeah, that he's a butthead and he had to destroy (laughs) the Miraculouses to make the most boring, basic rings ever. Yeah, so he definitely reformed the Miraculouses. I was gonna say, he didn't necessarily destroy them, but he did some kind of science nonsense to transform them. But, like, the question is, did you, what you saw at the end of episode three 
answer what happened in episode two with the multiplication power. So my question is, I wonder if like they were just kind of made to look like that to make it clear that they're like the miraculouses, but they're actually act like the Alliance rings. Yeah. Yeah. So if you think about it. It's genius. Like, okay, we're going to come up with this thing that everyone's going to have. And then Hawkmoth is just going to do what Ladybug does and just give out rings, but they're going to be super villains. Right. And, and so the other key component is uh, Gabriel and, uh, to Tomoe, they introduced the Alliance Ring uh, as a new product, um, and they have an ad for that. Um, April, did you did you have a read on what was happening here? Well, I kind of assumed that her ring, even though like they announced it as like an Alliance Ring, I'm like, oh, that's totally her multiplication thing. He must have done science magic, and then they did the science magic at the end of the <laughs> episode three, and I was like, I knew it. <laughs> Yeah, so that, I guess that could have, what, what Tomoe had could have been the mouse miraculous, or no, that's not, that's not, that is whatever the multiplication. Well, uh, it's either that, yeah. or he is able to somehow give people the ability. That was going to be my without next Without giving guess. them the miraculous. Right, I think that's was the, that, yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, because like, the multiplication, right? We've only ever seen it uh, used to, like, make multiple copies of yourself. But can you, like, do that to somebody else? Um, yeah. So or something I, else? I, I think I think the, the two kind of possibilities. Why does Tomoe have a miraculous power? Is it because she had the miraculous and that ring? Because we saw Gabriel make... Uh, alliance rings. ring and then they turned into the final version so maybe she had an earlier version and she was just using one of the new miraculouses like um, it was a prototype he was like because she says prototype yeah they say pre- so she could have just had an earlier version of that miraculous and then they turn it into the full ring so like he succeeded in making the miraculouses into a new thing i was gonna say because i assumed it was like a prototype in regards to like that was like a miraculous that he didn't necessarily care for and so he's like, well, I'm going to go ahead and try and do this. And if it like doesn't work or I end up destroying the miraculous, whatever, it's only the multiplication one. Cause, and he's, he does, just doesn't find that one useful to himself. So he's like, all right, I'll take the risk on this one. Because like, you wouldn't risk it with like the B miraculous or any of the... Yeah, so like, they, they picked one they ones. wanted to do first. Or, as Delaney said, are, could he activate a power in anyone? So I think this is probably what's going on is... Because he, he, coincidentally, not coincidence, he puts out a new line of rings to all of Paris during this. So mm-hmm. that has to be part of his plan. So my theory is that he put the, these new alliance rings, his new product, he sprinkled a little miracle, miraculous dust from every single miraculous into every alliance ring he's making. Oh, no. And so every person now in Paris that has an alliance ring is going to have a ring with a little bit of dust from every miraculous. And when he wants to, he could activate that power for anyone who's wearing a ring. What do we think of that? So basically, he, once he akumatizes someone, they're wearing his ring. He can activate whatever power he wants to in well, them. And he's okay. and the key is he still has the actual miraculous, so he can also use the powers himself. He's he's well, kind of split them into two. So okay, so was that ball thing from like the fetch ball? No, it that so that's the other thing. They're, they're just like they're doing weird stuff that doesn't make any sense. So like they're they're kind of just making stuff up here. So like, Tomoe yeah. gives her a ball that he uses yeah. to like, it's like yeah. reform the rings. Who knows? Yeah. I like, think it's like Tomoe's providing technology. I think that's kind of like what that's supposed to be. And it looked like the fetch ball, and that's why I, I was even more confused. That's a little well, confusing. especially because the other like like the miraculous dust reacted to it, and that's why I thought it was the. Right, I think it's like it seems to me like how he was he it's like an add on that he used to be able to form the new rings or something. Um, I don't understand this. But we don't know. We don't know that either. Can someone explain this? Well, well, Delaney, what do you think of my my theory that all of the alliance rings in circulation have a little miracle dust in them? I like. I like the idea. I don't think that's what's happening. Mainly because like what we see is he. Take, like he destroys them and then uses what's left to make each of the miraculous rings. What seems a little odd to me though is if he is giving people rings, though, like I don't know, he's really selfish. Like, is he really going to be doing that? See, 
I well, just he, he's, he's selling the rings, yeah. But uh, well, I no, I, no, no, that's what I mean. I mean, like, yeah, giving yeah. Why rings. do that? Right? There has to be a reason yeah. he's doing that. That's related to the. I just Randy I just Bus. assumed that he was just reforming the rings into something that was going to be more like I don't know disguised. Well, I mean, if you want to like, hide them, it makes sense. Yeah, like he's like everyone's going to have these alliance rings. I'm literally help creating these. It would only make sense that I would be wearing like five, ten rings. So. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think there's probably so that's that's like the the service level explanation is like he's just reforming them because he had to wear all this ridiculous stuff and now he can kind of go incognito with all of the miraculous and still have them. I think there's almost certainly another another thing that's going on here that because we wouldn't have gone this wouldn't have been this whole big thing at the end of the episode if it wasn't just uh, I mean, it could be like thematic, like he's like forming them in in his image because he's the ruler now. Um, But functionally. I think we're going to see some further function here. And we see that in the evidence in episode two, when Tomoe has that ability, despite um, potentially not wearing a miraculous, unless her alliance ring literally just was a uh, miraculous. Um, but regardless of whether every alliance ring in circulation has miracle dust, I do think probably he he's going to be able to Gabriel's going to be able to control other people's rings somehow with the miraculous powers. That seems like a lot. Cause like he released a line of rings and also, he has all the miraculouses now, so those have to be related. He needs the miraculous, like, ring. Like, he needs the miraculous anymore to control people, because he literally just has those alliance rings. Like, all he has to do is literally just send an Akuma, or maybe he's every like, single one of those like, is an Akuma, he's like just in disguise. He's like now. Like, he's just going to do whatever. And then he digitized <laughs> his son. Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> he's seemingly also, like, the most... Uh, has the most technology in the world, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, but, well, yeah, because uh, he's hanging out with what's her face. Yeah, I don't know why She's, she has the the biggest tech company well, either. Uh, I guess she runs a tech company. So I guess, yeah, um, that's the impression I got from this. I was like, oh, is that what she does? Okay. Right, so that's why they're partnering <laughs> together. Um, anyway, so I think the end result is uh, we're going to see next episode uh, him akumatize someone and they're going to have a miraculous ability while being akumatized, similar to how Tomoe did, because they say it was a prototype and that's what she had. So then the question will be, how did that happen? And if they're not wearing one of his miraculous, which they won't be because they're on his fingers, then that means the either he's able to probably through it has to be through the Alliance Alliance ring, because otherwise why I release those. Um, yeah. So... The alliance ring will let him tap into abilities somehow. So, or uh, he, maybe he's hoping the alliance rings will help him figure out like who Ladybug is. Sp- sp- or spyware, yeah, for yeah. identities, for emotions, yeah, that could be too. So. That would be a good commentary. Him just like secretly personalized like, ads for everyone, uh, like like uh, where oh, like our smartphones, right? So we're kind of commenting. That's on not that. new technology. I know that's that's called cookies. <laughs> it's called cookies. So, how, Delaney, how interested are we in seeing how this is going to play out soon? I mean, super interested because, I mean, well, and I'm also curious how fast Ladybug will figure it out. Like, I'm assuming it'll be the next episode. She'll be like, oh, my God, he's changed the miraculouses. Yeah. And it'll be interesting if Ladybug and Cat get alliance rings and are wearing them and if that right. affects things somehow. Oh, see, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, is he going to be like, here, son, take this alliance ring? Yeah, I mean, you have to you have to wear Adrian one because... has to wear one, right? <laughs> yeah, you have to wear one. You're the it's model. From his own company. <laughs> yeah, you're the in the commercial for it. Okay, so we'll see, and will the Kawamis stay in cages or will they be released? We'll see that. Oh, too. poor babies. I guess because the Kwamis like live in the the miraculous, right? Like, uh, right. So the them changing shape will that affect if they can live in there? Well, I mean. Yeah. I mean, no? it has to when he activates it. It has to, they have to go into it, right? Um, yeah. But, uh, anyway, we'll see how that all plays out. It's very interesting. I, this was, I didn't expect this from season five, this to be like a major thing and changing how all the miraculous I, I just don't like how I don't know what, like, I don't have a good read as to what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're, we're at the point of confusion. It was an interesting point to do the podcast. Um, pretty sure we'll see it played out somehow. Some, next some, week. some version of how we outline next week. Yeah. So it should, it should be fun. In other news also, as we discussed, uh, his arm is cataclysmed. Um, yep. 
So what are we doing there? Is also, his arm... I'm like, Adrian, don't beat yourself up about it. Like, he deserved it. It's just your dad, I, Adrian. I, don't worry. Your dad. I, I guess I'm confused about the, ca- the cataclysm now. Because anytime that we've seen the cataclysm, it's instantly destroyed something. No matter but, but what. Not li- not a but living not living. Creature. And I guess one that also, not one that's been, like, under the, sh- I say, shield of a Kwame. Yeah. Yeah, so I, they said we'd he'd never done it on a living person, and it's never like happened. It's never not been able to miraculously debug it back. So we don't. We're in unprecedented ground in terms of what will happen to his arm. Like presumably his arm's gonna fall off, but uh, will will this like spread to the rest of his body? Is he in danger yeah. of dying? I don't know. It's interesting he that he chose a white outfit, though. So, <laughs> Ro- Robo arm. <laughs> Robo Maybe. arm. He, I mean, he- we're- well, then he could have a robo arm. He, he could should. because he's wearing gloves now. He's got that no whole white get up. Yeah. He should probably cut the arm off. That's my initial thought. Like, uh, well, don't risk this spreading to the rest of the I don't know if it matters. But it's like magic. It, I don't think it matters. Yeah, maybe. I was going to say, but wait a second. If the robot arm is wearing the miraculous, is he wearing the miraculous? <laughs> because technically. <laughs> I think so. I think so. <laughs> We're going to get into the the deep cuts of this. <laughs> I think it would count. Um, so th- will this be a big plot point of Gabriel is dying this season? Oh, but then will he choose to save himself or choose to save? And then I think the big thing is at the end of the season, if he makes the wish, does that undo him dying? Also, okay. got confirmed Zaz was like, if you make yes. wish, something has to be, some, someone has to go in her place. Yeah, he said, if you bring her back, then someone will have to leave in her place. The exact quote. I had to pause it and write it down because I was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, that's pretty, that pretty definitive for. That's like, so, super definitive. Which is definitely like Adrian's going to die. Well, you know, he's already dead originally, Adrian. That's true. We, we can't kill Santa Monster, Adrian. What if Gabriel has a change of heart and he brings Natalie back in exchange for his own life? And he's, he's dying anyway. Or not em- Natalie, Emily. Emily. I yeah. think that's... In, so I think reg- the wish plus his arm certainly in play Gabriel doesn't survive the season. Yeah. Yeah, which I think would be very sad. I think we're going to get a lot of... Even though he's more unhinged than ever i think we're gonna get a lot of empathy stuff for gabriel this season we started with the flashback to younger him and emily um we kind of see how it was before everything started go wrong we're gonna i think we're gonna see a lot more of that type of thing so i think this could be could be pretty tragic with with that i want to see Gabriel's that fate. first time that emily uses the peacock miraculous like actually uses it also why did y'all think it was a good idea to use a broken miraculous maybe they didn't know it was broken that's fair. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's like, I, re- I really want to, like, whenever they show that, I was like, no, I want to see this whole scene play out. Come back. Like, <laughs> go back to it, please. I know. Yes. Yeah, so we could, we could say, we, yeah, we saw in the first episode, Younger Them. Um, to me, the main, for this was, I mean, this is very exciting, right? Like, we've been talking about what happened in the past. This is kind of the key to the wish and to Santa Monster Adrian is the history of Gabriel and Emily. I feel like my read on this is because we saw this in the first episode, um, the past. This is like uh, the show saying this is the, this, you know, because we, we, you do stuff in a premiere, you do stuff in the finale to merit, you build stuff up. I feel like I'm pretty sure we'll make the wish end of the season now. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we'll address the history of Santa Monster Adrian this season, because I feel like this is why we get this scene now. It's the start of that, that the both of those arcs. Yes. But which, by the way, of all the things we're hoping for this season, um, we also got Marinette and Adrian are closer to dating than ever. I feel like that's going to happen this season. No, Marinette has decided that she can't be distracted by her feelings for Adrian. Oh, sure. (laughs) Sure, Marinette. (laughs) Marinette's decided that, but not Adrian. Um, (laughs) So to me, the big, I feel like, Delaney, what do you think is? I feel like I'm confident everything we want to happen this season will happen. Maybe except for the identity reveals. That I'm a little unsure about. I don't think they're going to date. I don't. 
I don't think I'm more. I'm I'm more confident after episode two that they'll date. They it, they could date next episode, right? Like they. It, uh, I'm more it, confident that Ladybug and Cat Noir are gonna date versus some some combination of them. Well, but like those, I'm treating them as separate entities because I feel like they're okay. gonna date before the others, and then Adrian will feel bad about it because he likes Marinette now. Apparently. Delaney, do you think they won't date because Marinette's like her singular focus thing now? Yes, even Guardian. though it's going to kill Alia. I know. Alia has, she's going to force it to happen. I okay. loved it. I love that like last moment and Alia literally holds her din play <laughs> before Adrian goes to kiss her on the cheek and then Akari yeah. goes and shows up and ruins know, everything. <laughs> um, we can, we, since we're talking about that, we can keep talking about that now, Adriana. Um, we get them FaceTiming, uh, Mar- or Adrian FaceTimes Marinette, and um, he has to thank her um, for being, like, the most he, important person he in her life. Calls her. My life would be so much different without you. You're special. I hope to do as much as you do for me. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that stuff down. <laughs> and then Marinette's like, nope. I know it's it's. Can you believe Adrian? How bold! And then Ollie's here? like literally having a stroke. She's like, "Are you kidding me?" Ollie and then I love that Plog's like, "Oh, do you like her now?" <laughs> yeah. Plog says he's fake for it's saying great. she's just a friend. Plog knows. Yeah. Plog says Plog, Plog says he's fake. Wow. Um, I love so a- Adrian clearly, and I feel like this was a big impediment. We were like, okay, I, yeah, I mean, we all know Marinette's not with Adrian, but Adrian is like clearly has a lot of affection. Does he realize it's like romantic affection? I think it's pretty clear now to yes to him. Like at least it's manifesting in that way. Even if he's honestly, not. I'm kind of about Adrian like chasing Marinette. Marinette's like, I'm too busy. Bye. <laughs> is that the role reversal we'll get this season? Yeah, <laughs> they're they're going on a date this season. Will they date? You know, I mean, you know, who knows what the circumstances of everything going on will be. But uh, also all your recaps, uh, Adrianette moments, and we've seen they've basically already been on dates. So I guess that's not a hot take. Remember how you went to the movies and went swimming? And yes, Alia, we remember all of these things. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but but Marinette says she can't be distracted by love mm-hmm. for Adrian. So one of the things, so this sleepover, uh, April, is the same sleepover as in episode three. Okay. So hold on. I have. So he, another... so Marinette says she can't be distracted by her by love for Adrian. That could be because literally right before this scene, Hawkmoth was, uh, you know, excuse me, Monarch was in her room and she had to go. She almost everything almost fell apart. Wait. Next scene, they're talking about Adrian. But hold on a second, because I have. I have. I just remembered something as we were literally talking about this, and I I was writing it down. Okay, episode three takes place during episode two, right? Yes. Okay, so at the end of Akari goes in with that fight, Ladybug uses her uh her lucky charm, correct? But then in episode three, she loses her lucky charm. Yeah, that was before. So, but that was in the middle of... Yeah, so it wasn't that she lost her Lucky Charm forever. It was just that she lost that one particular Lucky Charm, so she couldn't throw it up in the air in the same miraculous way. Okay, I just wanted to make sure, because I was like, wait, is this like if you lose it forever? I know, it's confusing, because I don't think we'd had the scenario before. (gasps) She she didn't have something to throw up in the air. Uh, So so she just couldn't fix that situation. That that, Just that one situation. That's what the episode was saying, yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah. Cause, well, because she's, like, so upset about losing her lucky charm. Yeah, but that's just because like, she can't undo the cataclysming of the of Gabriel. No, you don't want to undo that because now you... They're nice now, people. They don't want the, the, the right, adult man who's stalking them. they have a clue them. as to how they can find Monarch because Cat Noir cataclysm yeah, but they, is but that, I know, but they didn't, they, know, they didn't think about it that way. <sighs> well, I'm going to think about it that way for them. <laughs> <laughs> Delaney, are you surprised April is being so anti-Gabriel right now? A little uh, bit, like a little bit. <laughs> I, I can't handle this. What is happening right now? I will say he's being like the ultimate butthead, so it makes sense. Was was it uh, him going into a like fourteen, fifteen year old girl's room? Uh, was that he the just turning like point? shows up? Was oh, that the t- <laughs> also? How did he know to go talk to Marinette? Like why? Why wouldn't he go talk to her parents? He should. I guess he's looking for a teenage girl. Like, 
<laughs> he, just... I know, he killed them. Like, I don't know. Right? It, it is weird because we don't see him go through the, the opening of the bakery. We just see him go up to her room in the attic. Yeah. Her yeah. Upstairs. So that was weird for sure. Uh, like, I wow, guess. Well, parents are so cute. <laughs> they are. They're so cute. He he must specifically know that Ladybug is a teenage girl, which I mean, duh, but we don't know the masking like technology of the Miraculouses does, but he must know that. But they did. The show doesn't want to see him say like, I'm looking for a teenage girl because obviously that's creepy. So I think they're just not showing him say that. He but. just wanted to be a part of the sleepover. <laughs> He's never had he one re- He should be joined in on this. Honestly, that would be good. For I, him. I, I felt like also it's so crazy that he is so unhinged. But at the same time, he's like also like extremely reasonable. He's like, oh, yeah, let me go ahead and just take this charm from you. Like, <laughs> and then just be on his way. I just can't get over the fact that he has akumatized everyone in town except Marinette. And he's like, Where, where's Ladybug? Like, yeah. bro. He, uh, he walks into Marinette's room and does not ultimately think she's Ladybug. And once again, in my head, I'm screaming, "She, you know she was in Shanghai when you saw Ladybug. Yeah, Do you- he's just- <laughs> No comment. But then, but then also, he, whenever he goes to the ice rink, totally just chill. Yeah, take my picture. Sure, post it up on social media. <laughs> like he doesn't freak out on these people, and I don't understand. He, I, I really think Gabriel's just not very good at being evil. Like, like he's really not an evil person. He's I like, think this is a big like, thing. Also, the show. This is like the most he's been out of the house. Like, <laughs> like all yeah, he just right. doesn't know about interacting with people. He's, I agree. He's like, I, I can totally relate. He's not good but, like socially. <laughs> I, I think this is all part. Like ultimately, he's like a, a fo- like a little bit of a, a follower, not a chaos person. He's like order. Like I, I, I think the show does a good job of showing that that it's totally like these extreme circumstances in his life that have led him to go down this uh, extreme. That were all his soul. fault, to be clear. That yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it was you know. I mean, he didn't. They didn't know what happened when they used the miraculous. Um, it's just, initially. It's but, just yeah. so strange. It's just so weird to see him like so like insane but then also like not at the same time <laughs> like yeah, it is interesting he follows the scavenger hunt so much um yeah he's like yeah let me go ahead and do this <laughs> so good and now the, the last thing i need Adrian... genius halfway yeah yeah that's a cat <laughs> was a cat or a monarch who's a half wit monarch okay i mean cat had it in his belt the whole time so i mean he knew it was there <laughs> He did know he did, yeah, which is it was, that was funny. The other Adrian had thing we talked about, it, Adrian goes in for the kiss yep. multiple times. Yep. The cheek She's kiss. like, nope. Yeah. And and then Alia almost made it happen because she held him held her there. <laughs> did did we understand this was like a French cheek kiss when it was happening yes. or did we freak out? Yes. Oh no, I knew what that was. I almost wrote it down as a French kiss and I was like, that's not what that is. <laughs> that's not what that's called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> why do french people have two weird different kiss things going on and one of them's called a french kiss you know i don't know it's not just french it's very european european yeah yes the double cheek kiss yeah it's so, like a, a gr- it's a greeting and it's not even that intimate <laughs> of a thing right it's just the marinette's freaking out at the him being close um, yep I, I i like that it's like an anime if someone adds like a like the suffix to your the name it's like that's a normal thing but if when when they when you like them it's like oh no that's, that's, that's or like so using much. their their using first, their first name, name versus yeah. their last name that's what I, that's what i thought this was the anime the french version of that anime thing he's trying to get on a first name basis with her <laughs> <laughs> don't do in the the, the cheat kiss yeah so <laughs> Well, next up, so I guess is like what is is what's going on with Marinette resolved at all? I mean, no, because it happens all it all happens so fast. Although this was this happened before the montage, right? Yeah, uh, and so this this is all like um, we ends we ends uh, several weeks after the state, so yeah, Marinette could be at a different place now. It's I true. think so. I'm I'm trying to get the whole timeline down here. It's it's a, it's hard. It's to so complicated, especially since you explained that episode three takes place in the middle of episode two. And uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's let's talk about that. But any last comments on Adrianette? Um, I don't think it's happening this season. Do you think Ladybug and Cat are happening? Yep. Yes. Yes. 
happens. I do. Look, what if they both start dating simultaneously? They each won't. Version of themselves? They don't have time for that. Oh my god! <laughs> Look, for- Marinette does not have time to fall in love with Adrian, but Ladybug has a very good companion in Cat Noir, and they keep getting closer and closer the yeah, more so time they spend. They're doing patrols during the imagine, several weeks. and they're, Yeah, uh, imagine all cards. those deep conversations they had while playing Rummy. Do you really have deep conversations with Cat Noir, though? Maybe. Can, can you have deep conversations with Adrian? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that they're the same person? <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> They're the same person. What did this happen? And uh, Delaney, I think Adrian and, or Ladybug and Cat have, like are on a new equal footing now in this yeah. in this season for sure. Like I think that well, first episode's really emphasizing that. Well, yeah, especially like they continuously say throughout the first episode, like it's you and me, it's me and you, like it's us together. Like they're very much like a unified pair, and which is why, like. And, like, Ladybug sees that and recognizes that and accepts that more than she's, like, ever recognized them as, like, a pairing before. And so I think that's going to, you know, lead to some romantic intentions or feelings. I know words. Yeah. Look, (laughs) all all of this. And I would say uh, Adrian is still, uh, you know, he's still trying to do the the cheat kiss. He's still going to be... He still feel this, feels this way towards Marina. Yeah, so. and Plog's going to keep calling him out on it. <laughs> oh, you're yes. just friends? Like, okay. So the cheek kiss has happened during the weeks, and he kept trying. And so, yeah, let's see what happens next. I'm very interested. Um, to, to see We're also it. several weeks later. I think like, it was ha- it was happening during the several weeks, now that I'm looking at the notes. Yeah. yeah. So, so who knows where they're at as of the end of... Both destruction and multiplication. But yeah, we can talk about more about the, the timeline and about marinette's plan marinette foils monarch's uh, attempt to get the kwamis to lead him to her with their plan that she set in motion a long time ago like she set it in motion when he was still hawk moth when you still hawk moth right that stood out to me too because she yeah because she like that conversation with cat noir she literally is talking about hawk moth like oh if hawk moth ever tries to find me like that's Danny, a... were, were you impressed with this plan from marinette oh it's a great plan i mean it's a horrible <laughs> plan but it's great <laughs> very complicated much to marinette's style yeah. the best part honestly was her having to train the uh the kwamis the kwamis <laughs> what do you think of the kwamis in general delaney this episode uh, they're great These and i'm sad that they're locked up and i miss them <laughs> who is your favorite kwami it's plog there's a no the, of the one <laughs> i know it's plog in general um, uh, the little cow one is just so cute. The cow? Yeah. Which one's the cow? The cow one. The cow. <laughs> the one that looks like a cow. cow. I don't remember the cow one. I gotta Google it. It's like the one who a regular like cow. It made it really. Cute. Oh yeah, yeah. They, it talks. Yeah, you're right. It, yeah, it's, it, it has some key moments. I feel like the big, the big, uh, the monkey is the big one. This episode. Well, the this. monkey is also the monkey's pretty good. The monkey gives like examples when, of everything. I also like when the chicken got very offended. Oh yeah, that was good too. And they were like, "You offended him! Like, so what's funny. wrong with you?" <laughs> I really enjoy when they all bunch up together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Marinette is is having like flashbacks of the them all running around her room. That was sad. Yeah, that that made me want to cry. But also, it was very like sweet whenever. Like, they all got to see Ladybug again, and they were so excited. And she's like, you guys missed me. And I'm like, duh, of course they missed you, Ladybug. Like, so no you think they're having a good awesome. time? <laughs> like, also, it lit- had literally only been, like, a day, so. Yeah, I think, but it's, it's the plan, I think you have the plan, now that I, I remember I was going to say. I think the thing that impress- it was most impressive is Marinette had, like, a scenario for what she was going to tell uh, monarch as to how he found her versus how he actually found her because he re- she referred to the like instagram feed um, yeah well i think that like that was very smart to think of like oh what's gonna be like the most like obvious way to know that he's looking for me if he comes straight to me like i was like you you know what you're right like then you you know for sure so 
And then it would have it would have been a, like a matter of like, okay, well, how long until he figures out that he needs to go to the ice rink next? You know what I mean? There is no guarantee that he would have figured that out right away. But the Kwamis did make a tiny mistake and give it away. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, I think he, I think he's supposed to find it. Um, but yeah, I think it's it, it's all interesting how how that played out. Uh, Delaney, was there confusion from you on the timeline with the three versus two? Uh, I mean, I guess it, like details maybe, but like I understood they were like within each other. Yeah. Do you have a sum? Do you want to give a summary that would help April understand better? I don't know. I basically mainly like think about it in my head around like the sleepover. Mm-hmm. This is like the longest day that's ever happened. And I'm it's, just pro- and it's, the, it's the same to- night as yeah. the first episode. It's the same night as the season four finale as well. Yes. Yeah. And that's why I was like, oh, I can't imagine that we're still within that. Like, I just assumed they were having another sleepover because... I mean, I regularly had sleepovers with my friends whenever I was that age, so I just assumed that her and Alia would regularly have sleepovers. Right. With I, each I think other. I also didn't understand that at first that the sleepover was the same thing. I think once we saw the repeat scene of uh, Adrian going to Gabriel, I was like, "Oh, everything we just saw but was before yeah, the I part in episode two. It was just another two. sleepover until then. And I think that's kind of a reveal, yeah. And then we see another repeat scene where he checks on. Um, he tries to talk to Gabriel, but he's conspiring with, uh, see, I think that was supposed to be the, like the giveaway, but that, but that confused me. So So that, that's another giveaway. They're both, they're both like supposed to plot it. So I can give the, the brief timeline. I mean, so it seems like season four finale, uh, happens. And then we have season five, episode one, same, same night multiplication. And then that's, so that's in order. And then, and then we um, have episode three. And then we have like the beginning of episode two. Um, yeah, and, we. And yes. yeah, so we have like the very beginning of episode two. Then all of episode three happens, except for the ending. And yes. then we ha- we go back to episode two. And then we, we like Marinette. So if you want to interpret it as Marinette's newfound like determination to stay focused after she just got had this whole thing happen with Monarch in episode three. So then that stuff happens after. Then there's the uh, montage, then there's the Akari Gozen attack, and then probably all of that happens. And then at the very end, the last thing we see is Gabriel finally finishing the new Miraculouses. So that's probably the last in episode three. Yeah. So basically, the end of both two and three basically just happened as we're heading into four, assuming there's no more time lunch in it. I feel like they on. like made up all of the two episodes at one time and they were like let's edit this all together and then they were just went chaotic in the editing i think board. i think they wrote it like that it's it's a really interesting story device delaney this reminds me a lot of the uh dead end season two we just saw with episode seven yeah. and eight they kind of yeah. interplay you you learn you're like oh that just happened in this episode this happened in there so uh, i think that 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 was really interesting we saw the parallel with those two shows by the way we also got the montage in episode two here like we had an owl house montage a lot of similarities Aww. between all the stuff we're covering. Um, romance trying to going show on. the passage of time. Marinette needs to sleep for like a week. Yeah, yeah, I hope she slept during those few weeks that we we saw. I mean, I'm sure she did. I hope so. Um, what's next to talk about? Oh, so Felix. Oh my gosh, that man has his own Wikipedia page. What the heck? <laughs> Do same, I have same. a Wikipedia page? Do that you? You tell me. First- it was literally the first thing I wrote. I was like, Felix has his own Wikipedia page. The F, do I have one? Also, his mommy was hiding him. Like, wow. Yes. Shame on you. But also, we know his mom is, like, super involved in all of this stuff. So. Yeah. So they so they fly to London and they visit uh, Emily. And she says Felix isn't there, but he actually is there. And at the end of the second episode, he puts on the... Peacock Miraculous and uh, Dusu says, are you my new holder? And he says, I am much more than that, Dusu. What does that mean? Delaney, what does that mean? I don't know. I have no idea. What <laughs> <laughs> April, April, what is that? <laughs> I, like, he's like, oh, I'm much more than that. How can you be much more than like the Miraculous? I have an there? answer. He's What d- is it? Dusu created him. Oh. He's a Santa monster. Oh. I'm I'm your, like, I'm your child. Dusu. Are you my new holder? No, I am your child. I am like your creation. Yeah. <laughs> you are my father. 
basically. I, th- I, I mean, I think that's probably what's what's going on. It's it's. Uh, we needed to follow up on Felix. Uh, and uh, did we yeah, really he's... follow up on him? <laughs> Well, we, we just know him. that he exists. He's, he's there, and he he. We see him put on the peacock miraculous. So the next question is: Will he do something with this? When? What's he gonna do? There's too much going on, guys. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I was saying, I think he got the peacock miraculous to control his own destiny, to make himself potentially make himself permanent. Like now that he controls the peacock, he can make Dusu not beholden to an object so he can uh, use the dusu to untie him to that ring so now he's like really a real person he can't get snapped away does he have like a copy of like the grimoire and he's like doing his own research at the same time i think he does have a copy yes yeah i think that's the thing I think he's he like okay that. he's like all right i'm i'm reading deep into how i can potentially make myself a permanent fixture in this universe <laughs> But it, like, if that's what's going on, first he's going to use Dusu to free him, and then he's going to visit Adrian. So that could be the next move we see to free Adrian. And then Adrian's like, "I'm going to punch you in the face." Uh, is <laughs> wait is is that mean Felix will be the one to tell Adrian he's the sent the monster? Could oh, that absolutely, one thousand percent. Felix. I guess who sucks. else would? But Felix, Felix sucks, so sucks. he's definitely going to do it. Wait, that would that would put a damper on our Adrian at hopes though, because uh, <laughs> he'd probably be pretty depressed after. Well, yeah. Learning he's not a a real boy, but Felix. He's not going to learn he's a real boy until like the end of the season. We predicted this April in the previous podcast. We said it would happen sooner. I think than that. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you're right because Felix sucks, and so he's like, "How can I ruin this entire season for Adrian (laughs) by letting him know he's not a real boy?" Yeah, I don't. I don't know what else we would see him do unless he visited Adrian. Um, but we'll see. Any any predictions? What feel? What's feel going on? With also, Felix now? why is Gabriel not more concerned about what Felix is doing? Because he knows that. Because because according to Gabriel, he won the trade. Yeah, he also, he also has Felix's ring. Probably they did, but that trade, yes, that's true. He does have Felix's ring, but he also has adrian's ring so so he thinks he can control them little does despite, he know felix is probably gonna free himself from the object i was That's gonna say guess. despite felix having the miraculous yeah. does that so that would it, mean if what i'm saying is true felix knows he can free himself but gabriel doesn't know that yeah i don't know if that's true but that's potential explanation i guess i just I just assumed that if you had the actual miraculous, then you had control over all of the Senta monsters that are in current creation. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that works. Because, like, yeah, you have the object that that has... could be that could be how it works. I don't. Yeah, know. I don't. You don't what? think you you think Gabriel would not make that trade? Give his give control of his son to Felix unless he thought the ring overpowered it. Unless he just really does not care about Adrian anymore, because which is probably true. I mean, I mean, honestly, though, because he's like, yeah, I'm just gonna give uh, Adrian's cousin, cousin who is also also a septa monster, control over my son, and oh, he doesn't want to be a model anymore, so I can't control every last detail of his life. Okay, cool, whatever. (laughs) Yeah. yeah, I will, we will we will see with with Felix with Gabriel. It's it it is a lot going on. Delaney, is it too much? You referenced there's a lot here. I mean, it's a bit much. I don't. We're just gonna have to see like where everything goes. But I'm also like I'm kind of not afraid. But I mean, we're also gonna probably get into this. We're gonna try and get a ring back every episode, maybe. Right. So that's what we thought was gonna happen. But he still has them all except for the first one, right? Right. So is that yeah. still is that still how you envision the season playing out? Maybe, but I also I don't know. And now with Felix, I I don't know what's going to happen. And then we also have to deal with Lila. I hate her. I hate her so much. (laughs) I literally wrote, shut up, Lila. (laughs) I hate her so much. It's possible that even if they got one of his rings back, he would still be able to activate the power inside of Kumatized People via the Alliance ring. We'll see. We'll see about all that. I feel like like Lila is in on this way more than we think she is. Yeah, we can talk about that briefly. So... Uh, I mean, I I put her I put her next to Natalie just because she's on the train with Natalie and she goes up to Natalie at the end. So is she in cahoots with Natalie? Is she in cahoots with Gabriel? Both. 
I don't know. I feel like she's more in cahoots with Gabriel than Natalie. She's certainly a model for Gabriel. Uh, she gets digitized along with uh, Adrian. But the bigger thing is Natalie. So Natalie seems Sweet to be done Natalie. with Gabriel. Um, she's like done, but also not done. So she says, "In the, she says, uh, you're insane. You don't deserve yep. my help to Gabriel. Absolutely. And then in the, she, we see her go back. Uh, we see her smile at a, sleeping Adrian. Uh, my interpretation was she didn't come back for Gabriel. She came no. back for Adrian. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. That's the only reason why I like I assumed that she's continuing. Like, maybe she's not helping Gabriel plot anymore, but she's like, OK, well, I'll still be your assistant because you need an assistant who. And that's probably why Gabriel hasn't gotten rid of her either is because he's like, I need someone who knows like what I'm actually up to, like whether or not he involves her. Probably maybe not anymore, but. Yeah, I mean, I think like Natalie's potentially not going to go along with his plans, but would protect Adrian when push came. To yes. School. Yeah. So it's well, and I feel like that might be like Natalie's new like drive is because like Gabriel had a chance to like take care, heal Emily without putting anyone at risk. And he chose not to do that. So now Natalie is probably like, I need to protect Adrian because Gabriel does not care about anybody who's close to him. So someone needs to protect this poor boy and it's going to be her. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting direction for Natalie's character. Um, she's like grown attached to, you know, Adrian through basically raising him or being one of the people to raise him. I was going to say, she's essentially been his mom more or less for the last year plus. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think it makes sense. Um, uh, the last, last few things, uh, we didn't talk that much about Alex getting the miraculous, uh, rabbit miraculous, the episode we've been waiting for, for, we see her finally get it, um, in the it, present. But she's just going to be trapped for like, and now she's, 10 years. yeah. Yeah. She's Whoa. just traveling around. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Now she's gone until Monarch is defeated. What do you think of that, Delaney? How long is that? Is that fair? Well, until she's an adult, apparently. Yeah. Does that mean we're fighting? I mean, isn't he? Isn't Monarch done this season? Also, I forgot that Alex was the same ages, was actually the same age as them in the same timeline. And so whenever I saw like baby Alex, I was like, did we go back like 20 (laughs) years? (laughs) No, <laughs> that's, baby Alex that's is present the, day. that's that's our Alex is there. <laughs> like there that's pre- my Alex is the grown up one because <laughs> I feel like that's the only time we've ever seen Bunnix is whenever she's been an adult. Yeah, well, that's so that's, so, so we get her young because she, she just gets the miraculous this episode. Yeah. So then we see the young Alex Bunnix transformations. So that was very cool to see. Yes, it was very cool to see, but it was still very jarring for me because I'm like, that's not my Bunnix. <laughs> No, this now this is our bonding. So I, I guess this is the last time we'll see her. Yeah. Any any favorite time travel stuff? No, I hate all the time travel stuff. Oh, how dare! Uh, <laughs> like I mentioned, we get them uh, at one point. We get them rapid and miraculous from younger Master Fu in the World War II uh, timeline we'd like seen that. before. Oh yeah, I did like seeing young Master Fu again. That was nice. Yeah, I love that. We go back, Delaney, we go back through a bunch of episodes, including Lady Wi-Fi. Always a classic. That's a, another, dead classic. End, another dead end similarity we saw uh, here. Um, but yeah, I like how they acknowledge Lady Wi-Fi, one of the classic episodes. Um, it was, we see Ali and Nino kissing at some point when we're going Very randomly. We didn't need that. <laughs> how dare. We needed that. Did we, we? <laughs> that's our favorite ship, of course. Oh. <laughs> Any other Bunnix stuff? I just can't believe she's just, they're like, yep, you're just trapped in time forever. It's an interesting solution. To, yeah. To this, this also, story. how is she, is she just like dropping off postcards to her dad? How does, she, is it like a, I was like. <laughs> As she it, goes through the the rabbit hole. And, and just uh, drops them off. Drops them off. Yeah. In the mailbox. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Because I know we're not doing a Back to the Future situation because that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Um, last, last few things. The new, we, a new, in quotes, opening 
opening credits. I wasn't. Music. Yeah, I was like, um, "What's this?" I don't like the music. Is it just me? Like, I don't is, like the. Is it too? Is it too dramatic? I, I think it wants to be very dramatic, but I don't get that. This is the that. dramatic last season. That's not the last, but yeah. That's not the last season. And we see visuals. The visuals have the new rings in them. But yes, anyway. I like the visuals. Like, yes. But I don't know that I care much for the music. It did spoil the rings. I know. Yes. I, I guess I didn't realize what they were at first. Um, yeah. Oh, how did you not realize? I mean, we don't know that he remade the rings until then, uh last until the end of the but season. all of the promotional material the promotional posters have been monarch with the rings and the miraculous well we didn't know he them. like broke the miraculous down and well i guess not ones. but like why else would Kinda they have dramatic. the rings <laughs> i don't know i didn't try i tried not to think about it but now we know my brain is always thinking about things can this we talk is why about... we don't look at any of the promotional material that's about right Gr- grandmaster suhan i was uh, just about to bring him up <laughs> talk about being useless <laughs> right i'm glad that he recognized that he's useless and he probably has like a shoe shopping addiction <laughs> yeah apparently, he, yeah. apparently. He shoes, he's looking at videos of cute kittens but yeah it's, it's a this is how they get explaining him away not being involved but he was distracted by the modern world and he's he, going back to get back up yeah i was like he's going to get back up so that means i'm assuming we're gonna actually see them again Probably after it's all over. I feel bad for Ladybug in the lecture. She's probably going to get. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel like they'll come after the finale. We'll see. That could that would be interesting. Um, I did like, enjoy um, Chat Noir being like, is he going to do that all the way to Tibet? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was pretty so funny. That's how we, I'm glad we, we had, had him in there, even if it was kind of a wave the hand away. Uh, Adrian and Lila get digitized. This is my favorite. Why? Part of the, why did he, the they digitize? What? Well, I guess. Okay, so once you digitize Adrian, you got to digitize Lila too. Well, my question is: Are Lila and Adrian going to be like the the series of the Alliance rings? So you get to pick one. I like, think, yeah, I think they are the series. S i r i. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that was my explan. Like, it's pretty good. At least they're in the commercial. Uh, this results in my one of my all-time favorite Miraculous Ladybug lines from Adrian. He says, Father, is that why you digitized me? <laughs> Do you think he was just sitting there in the middle of that Apple presentation? I wonder, wonder why he did. Oh, this is why he digitized me. Oh, I didn't know. He's like, I don't remember doing this commercial. <laughs> Only Ladybug can give us this line. Like, this is why this is the best show. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> it is good they like that gabriel's like oh he doesn't want to be a model okay well digitize him. i guess it coinc- i think it coincided with his plans anyway to make him inside the ring i guess um so that's why so it, it didn't it. matter yes it didn't really matter to him is that but yeah they they uploaded adrian if you watch pantheon so that was uh that was great yeah uh oh my god Father, is, that why is this why you digitized <laughs> yeah I wonder, we need to see what that line is in French. I assume it's just the same thing, which is great. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's not. <laughs> digital Adrian, now it exists. Okay, let's go through any other things that I noted we haven't talked about yet. Okay. Um, Cat had the rabbit miraculous, we mentioned that. Yes. His, his outfit was great. Yeah, I yeah, liked it. It's good. Bunny Cat. Uh, Lady Bunny awesome. Cat. Here's another great line, probably second best line from the first three episodes. Science rocks my boat, Alex says. <laughs> oh yeah, that was I was like I was like, why why did you say that? Why are we in like a eighties like promotional, I, like a college educational video? I don't understand her saying science well, she says science rocks my boat because she's gonna be an engineer, but no one she, says that. No one has ever said that. Science rocks her boat. Their friend has yes. a boat that they're frequently on. Um uh, who, uh, Unless, you know that friend wasn't you know, in these episodes or anything not that i'm bitter about it um but you know she's familiar with boats and she she's, loves science, she's so. well aware boats exist <laughs> and they float Sci- on water science rocks my boat um yeah we mentioned monarch seas ladybug and cat put the like in the past and what one of the finales or something right um so that's how they lure him instead of the the drive um 
Oh, I really enjoyed the like five minutes where he was like, ha 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 ha, I'm going to live through all of this again. And they're like, no, you're not. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> that was really good. I was like, they're not really going to leave him there. And then they that transported him back. Yeah, that's good. Uh, let's see. Multiplication. Um, do we mention the cosmic power ups? We got them used. We, uh, all the Adrianette stuff. Uh, Alex coming into the class and he's like, uh, Alex will be away being a superhero. Oh, yeah. Her dad Alex's just going dad, in there. Yeah. So, like, and what a weird... just all chill with it. Why? I don't know. I really yeah. don't. And they're like, all of you can help too. And I'm like, this is really bleak. <laughs> like, yeah. This is not good. Like, you literally don't know when you're going to see your friend again. I do appreciate everyone's very, like, innocent ways of, like, Oh yeah, let's start doing yoga because that keeps yeah. my head level. Or like, or and that like coincides with like Tom being like, and then Lila I'm gonna like, make all nice. these croissants. Like, yeah, so then Chloe's like, no, and then Lila says, Chloe, you should uh, have the strength to forgive Ladybug. And uh, I want to just sh- throw something at Lila. Like, <laughs> but then she says it shouldn't be a child's duty to fight Monarch, which is absolutely true. Which Lila. is true. You, you but one thousand percent. Thank you, Lila. <laughs> I mean, it's true, but I also hate Lila. So, what do we think of Lila like taunting Chloe like this? Because we love thought because they teamed up in the end of end of season four. I don't. Every time she opens her mouth, I just get mad. At least I'm used to Chloe just being absolutely ridiculous. So fine. I guess they're not on the same page anymore. That's what this was showing us. Um, after they disrupted Mar- uh, Adrianette from becoming canon in it's true. season four. Finale. Yes. How dare they? Um, what else we got? Uh, the the line the alliance ring ad, and uh, that was it from that. We covered everything. Destruction. Um. Oh yeah, all your film when uh, monarchs in marionettes. That was a great. That was great reaction. I know that was so very Alia. Like, hi, I'm going live with this great update and he from Marinette's so, room. He was so confused. <laughs> he was like, "What? What is happening?" Yeah. But again, he was just like super chill about it. Like, also, again, you can't just be breaking into children's rooms. Like, why are you like? Or them? breaking their phones. Yeah, and he's like, she owe, he owes me a phone. Like, jeez. Oh, Absolutely. and then she's she's like, that's censorship, which was really funny. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, child. Uh, I bet Alia goes live all the time, and it's super annoying. I oh, bet she's always going. Do you think that Gabriel um, tunes into it all the time, <laughs> like constantly? <laughs> He should be on Insta, you know. He should be uh, trying to figure out. Uh, he should he should be looking at social media posts to figure out who to akumatize. We probably talked about this. We must have talked about this. Gabriel has. Gabriel, he's a reply guy. So then he just like so he can <laughs> who who does Gabriel reply guy to? Delaney, Nadia. Oh yeah, Nadia, I like how you names like one of the only like other adults we know. Yeah, like yeah, that. it would it would be Nadia. Uh yeah, Gabriel uh, Nadia report. It's like, have you uh, did you did you see uh, Gabriel cons- in incons- conspicuously being like uh, Nadia? Why aren't you covering all of uh, Monarch's because incredible it's not plans? Him. He like, uses yeah, anonymous account. He uses a burner account. Okay. Yeah. So, oh yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like, it's uh, like, like clock he, moth is cool. No, he, I think yeah. it's even better. He uses the like gave the aggressed like the Gabriel aggressed branded account. Like oh. the. <laughs> He just replies. Does he to he stuff doesn't like hire that. someone to run social media for it. He does the he does. Well, he does, but he also like still logs into it. I, the only reason why I bring this up is because the gym that I go to, the owner, I love her, but sometimes she forgets when she's on like the gym's like official account, and so she'll like send me messages and be like talking to me from the <laughs> from the the gym account, and I'm like. This I know it's not the gym account. Like I know it's you, but you're using the gym account. <laughs> yeah, that's how um we'll figure out his uh talk monster identity. Yeah. Be on the wrong account. Yep. Um other things. Uh the uh got the going through the episode. Toll yeah, so I think I think we covered everything. Oh. Uh did we talk about how Gabriel has apparently dyed his hair and it's white now? <laughs> You're the expert. Tell us. I'm just saying I noticed that. <laughs> like, he even, like, when his... Fr- this out. I think he, like, he, had, he probably had white hair before. No, he had blonde hair before, and now it's white, including mm-hmm. his eyebrows. Like, all of it is white. <laughs> like, did he do that for his, his Apple TED Talk, or... Did his he... hair's always been white. 
No, it's not. That's why I'm Googling it. It seems white. Maybe it's gotten whiter. No, it, there's a huge difference. I'm going to find pictures. You fi- find evidence. Otherwise, uh, we'll see. I'm going. Well, He's shocked by his brown hair. By his brown Oh, in the past? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Before he, he was like 50 this years. Is... <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, April, April's looking for it. Delaney, anything else from the episodes? Oh, Alia and Marinette were really gay. Yeah, even though Alia was encouraging Marinette to be with Adrian. Yes, but they were still being gay. Yeah, they're being very close. They're super cute. I love them. It was, it was great. Um, Delaney, what's the title of this podcast? That's a really good question. Um, I kind of want it to be that line where it's like, Father, is this why you digitized me? <laughs> We could do that. I'm I'm all about that. Believe me. I feel like that has to be it. Have we done a quote from the show before? I don't know. Usually quotes we say, but it's that line still kills me. Look, if you want more digitizing, watch Pantheon. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Um, A lot of less innocent. Oh yeah, you guys recommended that, and I haven't watched it yet. Hold on. I need Ladybug to is just, Ladybug's just Pantheon. That's fine. We're digitizing people all over the place. Do you have the evidence, April? I'm working on it. Hold on. Okay. Well, while you do <laughs> that, anything... Time. Yeah. While you I... do that, anything else from the episodes? Are you talking to me or to Delaney? Yes, you. You, you, you. Okay. It's about to get really weird because I have to, like, log into my Sling account, pull up the episode, <laughs> and take no, a... No, any... Oh, any wow. Not... <laughs> No, pause that. Anything else from the episodes we haven't talked about you want to talk about? Um, hold on. Mm, no, I feel like we caught most of the stuff. Okay. I like that sh- uh, Marinette was in locker 42, because 42 is my favorite number, so. Okay. My lucky number. Thanks, Marinette. Appreciate the shout out. Um. Yep, shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to oh, me. Oh, and then Adrian, like, really moodily, like, throwing the basketball. That was good. Oh, yeah, him, like, did throwing it at the ghost. Yeah, he was, like, remembering um, Felix when he was mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so he's he's going to be, if Felix comes and sees him, he's going to be upset. So we'll see yes. how that goes. Maybe that's what we're setting up. Maybe he'll... I, I hope it's not too long until we see Felix again. I know we could put him off until halfway through the season. I hope it's really within the next three. If you I mean, we could very season. easily bring him back before then. We so should. there's just so much happening. I don't know what we're going to do. I know. That's it's true. Oh, my okay. gosh. Also, Hawk Moth's stressing me out because he's like bonkers. Hawk Moth? Yeah. Monarch? Yeah, he's bonkers. He's stressing me out. With the rings? Yeah. So, oh, but, yeah. I, I, Delaney, how, would, how did you ultimately feel about him destroying the Miraculous? Oh, uh, it's is... rude and it's upsetting. He took these extremely unique magical artifacts and made them into boring rings. I hate him. Do you think they're going to come back in their original form? Maybe. I feel like they have the ability to do so. Also, I think it's pretty ballsy to like melt them down into magic dust. Like, you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, I'm surprised he's able to do that. Seems like yeah, they I might don't be understand. I mean, I guess we live in a sci sci fi world or whatever. Yeah, but I guess I, we've been over this with Can You Cataclysm and Miraculous. I can't remember, but this was a discussion. Maybe uh, I think they did that on the show. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm so close to getting the screenshot. Okay, <laughs> the screenshot that I need. <laughs> I'm telling you, I went to the Gabriel Agrest Wikia page and he okay, has white hair here. First off, Wik. And I'm pretty oh, sure this is cool. from an early episode or something. This is bully. It, it d- only does a black screen. <laughs> yeah, they're like, don't take screenshots. Oh, there. I hate um, that. Yeah. <sighs> on my Sling account, I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you, and you're gonna be like, April, you were correct. Because um, okay. well, his hair is gray normally. Yeah. Like oh, a, it's it's oh it's going from it's gray white. to white. Yeah. Okay. It's like you white, said it went from white. blonde to white. Well, I was confused because sometimes he does have blonde hair. So, <laughs> so yeah, because his whole thing is white now. Interesting, yeah. Like, yeah, and, uh, his transformation. Well, in well, his transformation is white, but like his look at the like during the I keep saying the TED Talk presentation is like head to toe white, like white hair, white eyebrows, completely white outfit. I don't yeah. know. I I do miss that on his um on his 
miraculous. He took the wings off of it, and it's just the little pendant or the little gem now. So that's kind of sad. I liked that, that look. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll see if he keep, continues his white look moving forward. He has wow. to because he has to hide his messed up arm. I don't know why that hides it, but he's, he needs a sleeve. Yeah, he, he, that's what he's wearing. He's wearing gloves. Any Wait. final thoughts here? No, I need the next episode. <laughs> That's coming soon. Okay, we'll be very. It's coming about. soon. <laughs> uh, we're, we're getting a, at least until eight uh, in the next several weeks. So That's very good. Um, well, but yep, I we'll... accept this proposal from the Ladybug Lords. <laughs> Ladybug Lords, yes, Disney Lords. So that's. We will be back at some point to cover whatever number of episodes it ends up being. So make sure you're subscribed to wherever you're listening to not miss our Ladybug discussions. Um, and uh, if you're going to comment, remember, no spoilers past this episode. We appreciate that. And check out all the other podcasts we've been doing. This concludes our very busy past few weeks. Um, so that, that's been fun. A lot of stuff has been airing. And now I'm glad we've also covered Ladybug. Uh, so you can check out all those other podcasts, overlyanimated.com, everywhere else. And if you'll enjoyed all this, you can s- consider supporting us via Patreon at patreon.com slash overlyanimated. Thanks to all our current patrons, especially our patron of the podcast, Phonition. And thanks as well as to our patron executive producer, Steve Michael on Phonition. So yeah, we'll be back at some point talking Marcus Ladybug Season 5. Any last thoughts here? No. Monarch sucks. Wow. Okay. We'll Felix see our... sucks. <laughs> Everyone. Look, I'm I'm optimistic about Felix. I think he's going to be doing good things with the uh, miraculous. But we'll I think see. he's going to be doing bad things with good intentions. Mm, okay, that should be interesting. Felix soon, hopefully. More digital, Adrian. Yes, <laughs> More digital. I I really need like a what moment. If digi- with Ad- what if digital Adrian asks Marinette out? Well, I really need a moment where Adrian says to himself, like, I don't remember doing that, and then he remembers that he was digitized, much like Hollow Dad. <gasps> Will we see Hollow Dad again? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the relationship between Digitized Adrian and Hollow Dad? Oh, it's uh, much healthier than the relationship between Gabriel and Adrian. <laughs> yeah. Do digital, <laughs> Digitized Adrian and Hollow Dad have, have a great father son relationship? Yeah. That's the... <laughs> they, they honestly do. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that'll that'll be the name of the episode, and you will have to wait till then to get the explanation. The for very it. end, of digital the agent and hollow dad. Yeah, let's so we'll wait for the very end. Please okay, let us know it. your th- let us know your fanfic for what what uh, type of incredible father son bonding activities happen between digital agent. So and I Adam. imagine it's much like um, Ralph wrecks the internet, and they go on like adventures in the internet, and like go play games together and <laughs> you know they get up to all sorts of innocent activities yes that, absolutely yeah. they oh man the, yeah, the opposite of the pandemic and that's how uh what is it like gabriel ends up commenting on all of nadia's <laughs> social media adrian i think would probably try to prevent yeah digital Hollow Dad from <laughs> but Hollow being too annoying on Twitter. Hollow Dad's that... like, this is gonna be great. <laughs> yeah, so it's actually Hollow Dad who's uh, going live all the time and we, commenting. We, on... we got full circle, everybody. We did okay, it. Okay. There we go. We connected. Thanks, guys, for staying. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.